Hello, in this video, we'll look at how AI agents in Oracle Analytics empower business users to get more context aware and meaningful insights when they interact with the AI assistant. AI agents are aimed at consumer users and allow you to combine indexed enterprise data, add custom prompt instructions, and proprietary knowledge documents as part of its definition. Using a rag-based architecture, the LLM is now equipped to answer business questions with greater reliability, context, and accuracy. Here's a HR workforce data set with employee details, including department, hire date, salary, bonus, and so on. Let's build an HR agent using this data set. First, click on Create AI Agent. Select the workforce data set and save the agent to the catalog. Next, let's add a few custom instructions specific to our use case. When user asks about employees, answer with employee full name, prioritize showing the response in a table visualization, and when user asks for top items, show top five records by default. Let's also add a custom welcome message Next, let's upload our company's HR policy document that has company guidelines about compensation, work hours, salary review guidelines, and so on. Let's now add it as part of our agent definition. Note that you must save the agent first before the upload new document button gets enabled. In this case, my doc is a PDF file, but I could also upload a text file. Once it is ready, let us save and run our agent. Now let's start asking questions. Give me a list of employees in the finance department with raise over 15%. Notice that the assistant used the custom instructions, which said always show employees full name. Since the question was about salary raise, the assistant also leveraged the relevant information from the knowledge document to arrive at its, at its response. Who are the employees in the US who have stayed with the company the longest? This time, the assistant used the instruction that said show only top five records by default, and it's showing the top five employees with the longest tenure with the company. And it's also giving the contextual information about the company policy with respect to tenure. Here we have interacted with the agent in a standalone mode as a consumer. Next, let's see how to make this agent available to consumers as part of the workbook experience. We are now in the authoring mode and have this dashboard sourcing from the same workforce data set. Let's now add the HR agent to this workbook so it becomes available for consumer users while using the assistant on this workbook. To do that, open the assistant, select the agent we just created. Also go to the present tab, Confirm that workbook assistant is on and the agent is selected under assistant section. Now by doing these, we have now added the HR agent in the assistant for consumers. Now let's look at the dashboard as a consumer. Let's just open the assistant. Let's say show number of employees by department that require company approval for their race. Assistant now leverages the HR agent behind the scenes it combines the output from the data set and uses RAG to retrieve specific information in the knowledge document pertaining to my question and gives me an enriched response. It says salary changes greater than 10% require committee approval. User can provide feedback about the response using the thumbs up, thumbs down icon. This is how AI agents can be leveraged to provide deeper, more accurate and context specific insights. Remember, AI agents is used by the assistant only in the consumer mode. If I were to open the same workbook as an author and ask the same question about employees with over 15% raise, assistant will now use the workforce data set and not the agent to answer the question. So the response will not include any info from the knowledge document. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching the video.